I really um, want to take uh, and show you really something cool. People say, okay, Jeremy, these are the 40 steps, okay? These are the 12 steps up here. Now, it's easy to say cut costs. It's easy to say create a marketing dominating position. Uh, but, but how? All right? It's always in the how. Everyone says they could do something, but no one tells us how to do it. Well, if you call me, I don't want this to be an advertisement. All right, my business, but I'm going to show you how, how we do it. First of all, I help people in 52 different um, industries. All right, my software will work with people in 52 different industries. So no matter what your industry is, <clears throat> chances are I've got content for you that I can tell you and show you how to improve your business. All right, we do work with people in all sorts because business is business is business is business right is there small changes between all these industries of course there is but marketing is marketing employees are employees profit is profit cost or cost all right what we do is learn how to ask the right questions in the right order in order to make these elements make sense to you so that way you can start making these compound improvements in your business. Okay. So let me show you exactly what happens when we start picking this apart. And I'm going to use Garrett's business. He's listening right now. So uh, let's, let's say I have some implied consent. Okay. So this is his, uh, his 12, okay. His 12 <clears throat> elements. And we didn't say 3%, you know, we said 10% here, 5% here. All right. Um, we can uh, improve the leads 5%. We can do joint ventures, digital marketing. Some of these things, I mean, we had zero. We're at, z we're at zero. When you're at zero, how hard is it to add 15% to something? Really? You know, I, I don't think we're, we're, we're really overextending ourselves by saying we're going to grow 15% when we have never had a compelling offer. And I'm telling you, the proof is in the pudding because we're getting calls. Garrett, you can contest or, or uh, contest. You can um, confirm about these leads that are coming in the last couple of weeks, right? Two, three a week. It's working. Okay. So uh, let's, let's look at, um, let me just show you the how, right? That's what we're not going to really get into all the numbers. We're going to get into the, the how. Okay. So these are the 12 uh, percentages, the 12, but here's the, here's how we said, we said, we're going to do an implementation. Now, first of all, the priorities, what is it easiest? What's easiest to move the market first, right? So you see, if I want to do digital marketing first, I could bring this up here. I could move the stuff around. Compelling offer, right? I can move this up here, all right? If I want to take a drip campaign and move it up, I could do that. I'm putting it back because we're working with Garrett. This is Garrett's real business plan. But uh, you see how it's all customizable. If you really just want to increase your price because you haven't done it in a while, bam, move the impre increase your price and move it up, right? This is the priority list of how we're going to work on uh, the business in which order. Now, we're going to go up here to implementation. This is the best part of my day because this is a Gantt chart that's going to say, I'm going to work on the initial planning meeting. We're going to take two weeks to come up with a big plan. We're going to mark, work on the marketing dominating position for four weeks. Then we're going to work on leads for four weeks. Then we're going to work on uh, alliances and joint ventures. Now, I wanted to do it for four weeks but there's one and three. It's split because we have a quarterly review. So we definitely look every three months at the results that we're getting on a deep dive. Of course, we're looking week over week on our results, but we do a deep dive on the quarter. So <laughs> let's get to the how. All right, Jeremy. Uh, for four weeks, I work on my dominating marketing position, but that doesn't say how. How do you help me? Well, this is uh, something that you have access to. We click on that, and now we have all of these ways to tell you what to do, all right? Find an advantage over your competitors. Just the things that we talked about. Have, uh, know what your competitors are offering, how they communicate their, to their offer to the public. There are questions I like to ask when it comes to digging deeper, right? Review what my main competitors are. <laughs> what advantages? See, these are the things that spark thought, all right, chispa, right? Uh, it sparks the imagination. If you're working on your business, you will improve it.
if you're working in your business, you're going to be too bogged down to think about these things. So these, these are the things that help you think about ways to help your business, right? Now brainstorming your marketing dominating position, all right? These are suggestions that we look at. How could we say that something is more elegant or convincing, right? Uh, we worked with a digital marketing agency, right? I mean, the, the, you can see here, if I, if I zoom out a little bit, all of these suggestions, all of these areas, it's all food for thought. And I work with you through this process on a weekly meeting, and we get better every single week. This is just one of the of the uh, implementation weeks. Implementation. This is the four weeks we're working on the marketing dominating um, position. All right, a checklist of all the ways. Remember, these are tactics. Right. These are not your strategy. These are your tactics. These are the the hows, the newspaper and the billboards and the seminars, trade shows. All right. Determining your reasonable expected uh, expect uh, expected results. Right. Easy for me to say. Um, <coughs> guys, this is turnkey. This is guaranteed to get your business moving in the right direction because everything is spelled out for you. On top of that. Okay. If you go over here to your, uh, to your, uh, let's see here. This is, I'm going to go over here to your e-learning here. And if that wasn't enough of us showing you in black and white, what to do for your business. Okay. Here is all your videos, right? We have so many videos on how to do this and it comes with a workbook. So you're going to have a PDF writable workbook where it's going to take you through this video and you're going to follow it along and you're going to write down your notes. And then this is where we're going to get together and we're going to powwow. We're going to brainstorm. And then it's got this video, this video particular video is 33 minutes long and it tells you, and you can see if I go back, how many lessons there are 52 lessons, right? One a week for this particular virtual MBA, but there's all these customizable, how to generate revenue now, you know, um, internet marketing. Okay. There's a video for that internet marketing. Here's a video for downselling. Okay. Here's a video for drip campaigns. Everything we talked about tonight is all on here. All right, it's all done at your fingertips. All of these things, more leads. All right, all of these are different videos, fundamentals. All right, here's three different videos. All right, this, it's just it's just so much. This one has one, two, two videos here in workbooks. Okay, so there's just a scene. There's just not there's not a, a way that you can stump this thing and say I want to get my business better, but. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, here you go to your advertising library. It, <laughs> again, which uh, industry are you in? Pick that. And we've got just dozens and dozens and dozens of, of examples of how to do advertising for your particular business in your industry, how to do an elevator pitch, email library, sales letters, scripts. Uh, and all of these can be converted to social, by the way, everybody. Uh, I'm just so excited to be involved with this this company with this, this platform, it's so dang impressive. <laughs>